We want to put you on scam watch right now. There's been a recent rise of fake vaccination cards with more events happening. Experts say the scheme is becoming more advanced. Scammers are now offering to hack databases to change vaccination status. News Channel 9's Kieran Coffey explains just how easy it's become to score one of those fake cards. A new COVID concern. Federal health officials worried about a dramatic rise in fake vaccination cards. Reports saying they may be flooding the market. We are seeing it be widespread. And part of that is because it's being done across social media and e-commerce where anybody who might run into it could you know, become a participant in it. Fake cards popping up at colleges coast to coast. When I speak with students about the voluntary vaccination program, they personally know exactly how to get these vaccine cards and that they know personally students who have submitted these to the university. The University of North Carolina saying students who give false information may face disciplinary action, including suspension. The CEO of a company tracking counterfeits and e-commerce scams warns websites are not only offering fake vaccination cards, but services to change government and hospital databases. This is something we've never seen before. We've seen it in the dark web. We've seen it in Mr. Robot. But we've never seen it just broadly offered to the general public like it is right now. When you go down this page, they actually offer um, database entries if you need to access these different countries. And United States and Canada and Mexico are first here. Websites pricing these fake vaccine cards starting at just $25. The Department of Health and Human Services says they found up to 20,000 websites related to COVID-19 scams since the beginning of the pandemic. Karen Coffey, News Channel 9. Karen, thank you. And here in New York State, a bill recently passed in the state Senate making the falsification of COVID-19 vaccination cards a crime as part of a computer tampering in the third degree, and that's a Class E felony.